on the 375th anniversary of the founding of Harvard University, the Harvard football team looked to improve its 2011 overall record to 4-1, welcoming the Bucknell Bison to Harvard Stadium for a non-conference showdown. In just its second home game of the season, the Crimson looked to stay perfect in the friendly confines of Cambridge. Bucknell was searching for an early spark, going forward on fourth down on just its second drive of the game, but senior captain Alex Gideon made the tackle to force the turnover on downs. A Gideon sack allowed the next Crimson drive to start at the Harvard 44, and a 26-yard pass from Chapel to sophomore Cameron Brait pushed the Crimson deep into Bison territory. Three plays later, Chapel found junior tight end Kyle Juszczyk on a quick slant to put the hosts up 7-0 on the final play of the first quarter. Bucknell gained possession at the Harvard 25 after a Crimson fumble early in the second, but junior Brian Owusu intercepted a Bucknell pass at the four-yard line and brought it into Bison territory with a 58-yard return. Two plays later, Chapel found senior Alex Sarkeesian in the corner of the end zone for a 14-0 Harvard lead with 11.44 to play in the half. Bucknell was unable to handle the ensuing kickoff, and it was Gideon once again making the play, recovering the fumble at the Bucknell 13-yard line. On third down and six from the Bucknell nine, Chapel connected with Brait in the right side of the end zone, giving Harvard a 21-0 lead. With four and a half minutes to play in the half, Harvard started its eighth drive of the game at its own 13, but two strong runs from junior tailback Trevor Scales gave the Crimson some much needed breathing room. A 30 yard strike from Trapple to Brait moved the Crimson into Bucknell territory, and a 23 yard scramble by Chapel put Harvard inside the 10 yard line, setting up a first and goal for the Crimson. Brait was on the receiving end of a four-yard touchdown pass from Chapel, giving him three in the second quarter alone and his team a 28-0 halftime lead. Harvard was forced to punt on its first drive of the second half, but junior Jacob Dombrowski booted a perfect punt, pinning the Bison at their own one-yard line. The ensuing Harvard drive started at the Bucknell 29, and on fourth down and six, Chapel hit a wide open use check for a 25 yard touchdown, giving Harvard a 35 to nothing lead. Bucknell's best scoring chance came after a Harvard turnover that gave the Bison possession at the Harvard two yard line. The Crimson defense held strong in a decisive goal line stand, forcing the guests to settle for a field goal, making the score 35 to three with 247 left in the third quarter. Losing the shutout didn't sit well with the Crimson, and on the ensuing kickoff, freshman return man Saytu Smith III fielded the ball at the nine-yard line and scampered untouched 91 yards for his first career return touchdown. It was just the 10th return of 90 or more yards in Harvard history, and the play sealed the 42-3 victory for the Crimson. Colton Chapel tied the Harvard record for passing touchdowns in a game, firing five in just over two quarters of action. He was also the game's leading rusher with 71 yards on the ground. The Harvard defense held Bucknell to minus five rushing yards on the day, collecting four sacks and four interceptions in a dominating performance. The win put Harvard at four and one on the season and pushed its confidence to a new level, heading into its showdown with league rival Princeton next Saturday.